Hey guys, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Shay. And as you can see from the title and the thumbnail of this video, I, after two years, I got COVID-19. <sighs> so I'm double vaccinated, but I am positive. Or as I would self-diagnose it, I think I got the Omicron strain because I didn't lose any taste or smell or anything like that so and I was over it super super quickly and it also happened after uh, the Omicron strain came out so from my judgment I think I got Omicron but I could be wrong firstly I do want to start out my video by just letting you guys know that by the time you are watching this video I'm definitely 110,000 percent over any kind of COVID symptom or any kind of anything to do with COVID. I am probably one of the most safe people to be around at this point. I have the natural antibodies and I'm double vaccinated. So all I need is my booster and then I'm pretty much one of the safest people that you could be around in relation to COVID. However, I did vlog my experience and I do want to share that with you guys just Hopefully maybe my experience might put somebody else's mind at ease because after two years of stressing over this virus I finally contracted it and it was nowhere near as bad as anything that I was imagining and I do understand completely that everybody is completely different. My heart absolutely goes out to anyone and everyone who has contracted any kind of worse version of this virus, anything worse than I did and has ended up in hospital or anything worse than that. My heart absolutely breaks for anyone who has had to go through that. I just really wanted to share my experience and show you guys what I went through and hopefully it may put someone's mind at ease who is stressing about the virus as well. So this video is not to brag about how I didn't get all of the symptoms or anything like that. It's just purely informative for anyone who wants to know how I went when I had COVID. With that said, I am so, so grateful. I am so, so grateful for how little I did get any of the symptoms, how little I did get sick. I had one day where I was super, super, super sick and would not wish anything like that upon anybody. But then other than that, I'm so grateful for the rest of the time that I did have COVID or did isolate because I thought I had COVID because everything else went super, super smoothly for me personally and I will show you guys that in the next few clips. I did vlog a few times when I remembered to. <laughs> when you're sick you're just kind of out of it. I was trying to sleep a lot and drink a lot of water and I don't know just tried to sleep it off a little bit but anyways I hope that the next clips are super informative to you guys. I don't think I really did a great job at filming because I was a bit out of it but I hope that this video does some sort of justice for somebody and puts someone's mind at ease and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Don't forget to like this video and give it a thumbs up if you guys enjoy it and if I did help you or give you some sort of information on this virus please do let me know because that is what this video is based upon. That is all I really want to come out of this video so I hope you guys enjoy the video and with that said let's get straight into the vlog clips from when I had COVID-19. Let's go. What are the chances we are starting the year off strong getting a COVID test? Like 90% of the people that we know have COVID or have received a positive rapid test. So we have to go and get tested ASAP because Ricky and I started showing signs and symptoms. I'm currently waiting for Ricky to get out of his test. I just fought for a car park. The whole of our town is here getting tested. And I mean everyone from like kids to local plumbing places. There's literally a plumbing van in front of me. Everyone. Everyone in town is getting tested at the moment because we've had a huge outbreak in the town over from us and <coughs> excuse me. And at one of the biggest work venues here one of the um, meat works. That's where Ricky happens to work. So we need to get tested basically. I need to book my test now. So I thought I would do that with you guys. Ricky's currently in his test. I'm waiting for him to come out. Hopefully he sees my car, fingers crossed. But I'll keep you guys updated. Let's book my test. 
If you are calling to make an appointment at our respiratory assessment clinic for coronavirus testing, please press 1. Wait while I can't spell your call. They dead ass just hung up on me. You guys witnessed that. Um, maybe I try a call later? Obviously they're busy. Should we give it a go again? Okay. Second time lucky. Of course. I think I'll call back later. They just left me on hold for like a minute and a half. So, I guess I'll catch up with you guys soon and let you guys know when my test is. See you soon. It is a little bit later now and I forgot to charge my camera battery. I'm now noticing. I thought I would tell you that maybe you might notice in the change in my voice. I'm not sure. But I'm starting to feel a bit sick now. You can tell when I get really, really, really bad dark circles under my eyes. That's when I'm starting to get sick. So, I'm feeling it in my throat more than anything. Um, I'm not really coughing or anything. Don't have cold sweats. That looks like I'm naked. I'm not in football shorts. Um, <laughs> I'm like, it just honestly feels like a normal cold. It just feels like I'm getting the regular flu. Any other regular old flu. I'm gonna go for a quick shower so that hopefully I can wake myself up a little bit. I've been editing my Christmas video so hopefully that will go up very soon and then probably my New Year's video and then this video so that people don't think I had COVID over New Year's because I didn't. <laughs> I got it over New Year's. Well we're not 100% anyways. So Ricky's temperature is currently 37 flat. Mine's 36.7 so I'm not quite there yet I'm quite still a bit under I'm all good for now <laughs> but I will keep you guys updated it has been about four maybe five hours since I last spoke to you so he's just been chilling we've both taken Panadol both taken um, flu medication we're kind of just chugging down water at the moment and just continuing on the day oh Ricky's symptoms I'll let you know what happened with those so he's started three days ago uh, roughly three, four days ago, he was kind of getting cold shivers and he had a sore throat. He's had a bit of a um, cough every now and then. It's not really that bad, but it's just like a normal flu to him. Same thing. He had some like achy joints, things like that. And then today and yesterday, I had achy joints and now my voice has started to go. So that's fun. I start sounding like a man as soon as my voice goes, so that's great. But I thought I would just keep you guys updated and let you guys know that that's how it started. Everyone we know who's got it and who has tested positive has all started the same way. It's all started the same symptoms as what we have, so fingers crossed it's not COVID and I will just upload this as that I thought I had COVID, but I didn't. But I don't know. I don't know. I also don't know how long it's going to take to get my results back and I haven't even been tested yet and I have no idea how long it's going to take for Ricky to get his results back so that's fun. We'll see how long, how many days this vlog goes for but this is day one for me really, day two and about day four for Ricky so fingers crossed it's not COVID. Let's just pray. I really don't want to start the year off with COVID. Like, come on. Mum's already freaked out enough. We don't need it. This isn't COVID. I don't know what the fuck it is, but it's brutal. I'm gonna go have a shower and do some editing and I will, <clears throat> excuse me, I will check back in with you guys in a couple of hours. I think that we're just gonna watch movies all night, honestly. But just chill, be sick together and fight it out. <laughs> Alright, I'm just now editing the video and I'm suddenly realising that I didn't really film anything between that last clip and when I got my test results, which was on the 11th of January. So there's like five days there, which I didn't account for. It's one day of footage in the middle of the five days where I was dying and that was probably like the point of worst point of my COVID experience and I have footage of that. But other than that, I didn't really film anything because it was just kind of slowly 
coming on it was like a head cold and then it was more like a sinus infection my head just felt kind of stuffy but I didn't have like a croaky chest or anything like that which is the first sign I always get when I get sick my lungs get it the worst because I ended up in hospital when I was little when I got my tonsils out and that's a whole other story for another day but basically my lungs cop it the worst and get it the worst whenever I do get sick and for some reason this virus did not go anywhere near my lungs it wasn't anything to do with res the respiratory system with me. Um, it was a struggle to breathe, but it was mostly just hot and cold flushes, the temperatures, and super, super tired and really, really, really bad body cramps. But other than that, here's the positive test result. Here's the part that freaked me out the most. Let's get to my worst day, my absolute worst day with COVID, which was just high flushes. My temperature was like 37 points. 37.9 it was it was tragic I was in the shower at five o'clock in the morning just could not get my temperature down if I did I was sitting on the floor in the toilet and then I'd get freezing ignore my back door oh my god then I would get freezing freezing cold and have to rub up and sit in front of a heater and then my temperature would soar back up so I'd have to go and put myself back outside oh my gosh it was terrible let's skip to that part it's quarter to five in the morning and I just wake up full on projectile vomiting so that's fun. I am piercing sweat. I sweat is just pouring off of me. Like I'm in the shower. I'm glowing and I feel like Debating with it going up. I don't know. Full end. I actually should not have the heater on right now, but I'm freezing. Freaking up being much help. He's dying too. No energy to do anything. My whole body is just leaking, like dripping in sweat. I can't cool down because then I get too cold. I'm so tired. I wonder if this isn't COVID. This isn't COVID. Then I don't know what the fuck it is, but it's brutal. to do. This has been for 45 minutes. Thirty seven point five. But I've also been in front of the heater. <laughs> okay. 
से जाके बोले So I think the last time that I spoke to you guys would have been probably the third day that I was sick. Which I didn't, t I kind of didn't speak to you guys. I was just, I was talking really quietly because Ricky was asleep. I woke up in the middle of the night, like, vomiting everywhere. Like, it was so bad. I had a shower at five o'clock in the morning. I just... I had hot flushes, my temperature was like 37.7, I just felt disgusting, I felt horrible. That was probably my peak day and then after that for the next two days I totally forgot to pick up the camera but I just had um, a couple of hot flushes, hot and cold flushes and a bit of a temperature. And I was totally fine after that one particular day, but up that day I was covered. When I woke up, I was covered in sweat. I w it was like someone had thrown me in a pool. It was disgusting. It was honestly, I would like jumped straight into the shower as soon as I could. Um, for the first hour between four and five, I spent being sick. And then as soon as I felt able to, I just jumped straight in the shower because... If I'd go and be sick, then I got really cold, so I'd go and sit in front of the heater and then bring my temperature back up. So then I'd get hot sweats and so forth for an hour. But after that day, I had hot and cold sweats and a temperature for two days, and that was it. I think it's only been another two days since then. And the last two days, I've had kind of sore chest, a um, bit of a runny nose, and sore throat. That's what brings me to today. From the last two days of having a sore throat and a sore chest and a little bit of a cough, not much. I just got my test results. So it's been, since I got tested, it's been six days. It's been six days since I got tested and I just got my test results back now. And I tested positive. So, therefore, this is now a I Have COVID vlog for sure, um, which you already know because you saw the title, but for me, I now know it's definitely a I Have COVID vlog. Ricky would more than likely have it. He's still waiting on his results to come back, even though he got tested first. Um, I don't know. We're not sure if it came from the one night that I went to the pub which was New Year's or if it's from Ricky because we initially got the message from his work friend who tested positive. So, hi my baby. This is Ma, for anyone who hasn't met her. She's gotten a little bit bigger since Christmas. Just a little bit. Bright blue eyes. Look at how beautiful she is. She is so gorgeous. Me and my potato head back here. You're so cute. So this is Ma. Ma stands for white in Maldi. So my boyfriend named her. How cute is she? Oh. You can go in front of my little potato head. She's beautiful. She's so cute. Anyways, like I was saying, this is now an I Have COVID vlog. So I just thought I would run through all of the symptoms that I've had. Um, I know COVID's a bit of a touchy subject, but I would still rather share my experience and uh, what I went through. I'm double vaxxed with the Pfizer vaccine. I haven't had a booster or anything yet, but that's just because we've been in and out of lockdown pretty much since... It came out and became a thing. <laughs> so other than working, that's about all I've had. So I'm double vaccinated, but I am positive. Which means that after I get over this little throat situation, I'm going to be like a super antibody because I'm, I, I've already had it. So 
I'm cool with that. Like, so far, honestly, anyone who's freaking out about it, I know that everyone reacts differently. If you have had Pfizer, I would say that I've reacted really well to this strain or whatever it was. Um, it honestly hasn't been that bad. It was that one, one night, one day that I felt really, really, really sick. Um, and it was about the third day after we'd been told to go and get tested. But honestly, the rest of the time it's just felt like either a um, head cold, like one day it'll feel like a head cold and your head will feel all like yucky, like you're gonna get sick. Then the next day it kind of felt like a sinus infection, so all across here was pretty sore and you know, around my um, glands and stuff, it was just, just felt very sinusy. My nose was really stuffed up, but it wasn't actually running. It was just one of those, like, your nose is, you just can't breathe out of it. Like, there's nothing in your nose, but you just can't breathe out of it. Um, then another day, it was literally just, like, hot and cold flushes and things like that. For me, I think I got the best version of it that I could have, put it that way. I'm nearly through it. It's already six days in, so I dare say I don't have very long to go before it goes away. But yeah, Happy New Year to us. We started the year off with COVID, literally from the 2nd of January. Um, Ricky got tested on the 2nd of January. I got tested on the 4th of January. So Happy New Year to us. I spent the New Year's countdown at the pub and there was no masks at the pub, so I'm not sure if it came from that, or the... What day was New Year's? It was a Saturday. So the Friday night, or the Friday, Ricky went to work with the same lady that tested positive, so it could be anything. Honestly, we have been so safe. That was the only time I've taken my mask off, other than one other time I went to a restaurant. Um, but otherwise in the whole two years I've stayed home, I've stayed home from beaches, I've stayed home from like different trips, I've stayed home from doing everything other than working. Shopping was, the first time I went shopping in two years was Christmas. You just cannot escape it. Like, we have been so, so, so safe because my mum is petrified of getting it, like, freaked out. She's one of those, like people that is just really 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 nervous about it and so I've tried my hardest to uh, not transmit it and not get it and not spread it and it doesn't matter it honestly does not matter no matter what you do at the moment you're just bound to get some sort of a effect from it at least we'll say if you don't get it you get an effect from it like, it is affecting every single person on this planet at the moment. Definitely, 100%, hands down, not what I thought it was. It's not what I expected, and it's a lot better than what I expected. Like, I was picturing instant hospitalisation, uh, not being able to breathe, I have bad lungs already, so I was already expecting it to just kick me straight in the lungs, you know, just be so sick, bedridden for days, but honestly, ever since I got it, there was that one day, and every other day since, I've been able to get up, I've been able to function normally, I've been totally fine to the point of where I didn't even think it was COVID, and it's honestly, it's just not as bad as you think it is, okay, so please, anyone stressing about it, stop stressing too much, like obviously, be, be aware of it, be careful, be safe, everything like that, but just don't freak yourself out about it too much. It's not like an instant hospitalization situation, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching. I will keep you guys updated. I hope you guys are staying safe. Be careful, be as careful as you can, and be aware of everything going on around you. Just be grateful if you don't have it, be grateful for what you do have, and let's all get through this together. Thank you guys so much, so, so much for tuning in and <laughs> watching my COVID experience. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you've had COVID, whether or when you had COVID, how you went, and let's all get through this together.
Is that right? And don't forget to subscribe if you want to hear more about my COVID experience and more updates on my COVID experience. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Love you. We love you. Sleeping through the day. On my supporters. Once again, I thank you. I told my mother I would quit. What can I say? Hey, mom, I'm gonna make it. I promise you that. Falling in love every evening. So we just gonna stay. Teenage dreamers. On this way. I told my mother I grew up. What can I say? I'm still breathing. Falling in love every evening.